Yep. So our review team, they wanted to share some kind of tips when it comes to loan file organization and documentation as well. Um, the first one they have would be to clearly document the application date. So there could possibly be multiple application dates, ECOA, HUMDA, TRID. So you want to make sure you have it clearly documented. So, you know, when they're reviewing the file, they can make sure that your disclosures, your things were sent out timely based on, you know, the regulatory requirements. Um, the second tip they had was to group similar documents together in the loan file if possible. So your loan estimate and closing disclosure, if you can have them together and in chronological order if possible, it makes it a lot easier so they don't have to search through the whole file and then try to piece everything back together. That's sometimes difficult to do and leads to a lot of questions. And the third tip they have is to document when and how disclosures were provided and given um, to the bank. So that way you have clear documentation here. Um, for instance, with the purchase agreement, was it received before or after your loan estimate went out? Um, you know, simply putting a date, you know, somewhere on that purchase agreement is going to help in documenting that for us. Um, so we don't have questions on that part. The last tip they had is if possible to maybe put like tabs or sections in the loan file as well, kind of similar to grouping your disclosures and documents together. If you have like a TRID section, a flood section, insurance, things like that, it just really helps them move through the file with ease. So they wanted to kind of share these tips so you can kind of take them, see how they compare to what you're currently doing. And maybe there's things you can change or improve to get some more kind of clear documentation and organization.